What's up? Nebo Sanga Tembo. This week in music powered by one of the best music sites we have in the country right now, Zambezi Juice, starts now. We couldn't bring it to you last week because I was under the weather, but I'm okay now. Thank you for all your best wishes. Tona Mati Sefo Bachitireko this week. Nama entertainers alike, really. KB released the track list for his last dance album with release date of November 19th. That album got features for life, man. Abena Chef, Israel, Y Celeb, Lanji, Critic, you name them. I'm thinking, personally that is, you don't have to take this KB. Since fans have been asking for Muzo to be on it, and Muzo, at the time you wanted him to do the Diary 9, or is it 8 or 9? I, I, I'll check. Was really in a chaotic situation. Now he has a manager, Mubanga Mulilo. Transact na manager then use Muzo's verse as a selling point for this album because having another diary to say e, e album, that's in case you've already taken the album to all streaming platforms having that Muzo verse on a diary that you release as a single will really sell the album that's just what I'm thinking man but all in all good album lineup you should check it out Danny Kaya filled up Mika Convention Center as it should be because the guru has had respect since day one as a great live performer we won't even talk much about that I'm sure quality I'm a guru's chameleon exile now that probably showed up because he's been in the game for life man that's Danny for you spaceship music signed choose international I think this was coming I think this was coming. The kid probably felt, okay, best studio in here. I'll just keep on keeping on with Vena Spaceship music. They've been recording his music since way back, even when he was with BT Africa. So, even while I was with BT, though I don't know who introduced him to Spaceship, or where he started from like was he with spaceship then bt just signed him or was he with bt then bt engaged spaceship i don't know and i hope spaceship music never could beat the africa after this announcement natasha chancer and k slayer rose up the Vesesani charts kids are taking on this chart man they're taking the power into their hands because I remember when Zambian music, yeah, actually blow up, blow up. If I got there with sites like Zambian music blog, Afrofire, and them, music to Adisa I pay la sana free of charge. So to Adisa, I was spoiled for my fans. No kulash da sana, that to Ali Fire, to Ali Fire, go on, one or in Boruan you. It is a download link. Now, kids are making sure whatever they put their heart and soul into is sold. So there you have it. Wesley shared her intentions to learn how to produce, mix, and master music. Oof. From what I hear, fear by involving, so she's gonna have to lock in. This is not just any announcement, man. Lock in, man. And it would be nice to have like a first female producer, mixer, you know. Because in two day panga sana ni ndala mamundo ad. She Wesley, she kadi kodi production, na mix na mastering shan shani. Chikali yellow mixing and mastering is like one of the most expensive art forms in Zambia. But no, no, I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing. Ingiramu! B-Flow and Mosin Malik celebrated their birthdays this week. Happy belated birthdays, gents. Pray For Me by Microphone 7 became the highest selling digital project in Zambian history. Wow. Wow, microphone seven. This boy has like a niche audience. I got a fear about Mukonga. Most of the time, better than I stand on music. They too, they too believe and all believe. But he's out there, man. He's really out there. Congratulations, Jesse Sofu, the rapper and poet from Le Diplomatique, stated his getting back to music as Jazzy Jess. I like that play on words. We had Jazzy Jeff in the '90s, and he's going by the name Jazzy Jess. It's it's really. It's kind of clever. It's kind of clever. I saw t-shirts too. He's had the whole shebang. It's printed everything. Brand. Branding Muzambia. <laughs> Slab D's mother tongue confirmed to drop on the 20th of November. Really? Slab D, that EP's been in the works forever now. At one point, I even believed the Adi Fumanokfuma with Wagwan and the song you released with uh, Muzo Zarani, is it? 
those two tracks were listed under Mother Tongue on iTunes or is it Apple Music? So I thought, ah, then you went on to release other tracks. Can she tell you Fuma? Okay, okay. I just hope you've been studying the game, fam. Like really studying it. You know, so we can get some new beats on there. We know you've been trying to really evolve and you've had this trap thing going on. Slab D can really do a trap verse. He can really do a trap verse. There's a song he's done with Wills where he was but who tennis club or stadium wherever he really killed that trap verse man i have that trap verse on my facebook page right now which tells me he's been trying to really evolve into this new wave so i hope there's new beats on there you've got kids under you quick xyz let's do the most with this mother tongue ep we'll wait for it man t sean and kekero are working on a joint duo album imagine the production and the mixing and mastering on that thing Hmm. <laughs> yes. Just feature more artists, man. Feature more artists. Let it kind of be like a balance between what a KB album should be with so many guest features and you and Kekero doing your thing on it, singing and producing. Muriama beats, I'm sure. Muriama beats. Prophet Malakai signed to BT Africa. Good choice, I believe, because you just lost one of like the big acts mundolomo mwadinankwe choose it so why not just sign on another big act to continue with that marketing yeah and prophet malachi released a song last week that i reacted to really nice really nice some kids came up after that release especially after the release of my reaction video to say ah prophet malachi rimbon wesuru then i listened to both songs and realized it was the hook that was similar. The verses were actually different. The kids are known as Jesus Legacy or Legacy for Christ from Mundola. So I asked them to really get in touch with BT and air their grievances out. Hopefully that goes somewhere or hopefully that gets settled. As Prophet Malachi signed to BT Africa. He was previously known as Stand the Industry. That's how most of you might know him. Let's move on. Solomon Plate and Mag44 scored international features on The Truth and Limo Blaze's Bridges album. That's amazing. That's amazing. You know, we usually celebrate and say, ah, I'm a guy's number by Pisha. But we rarely say this. Keep in mind, The Truth and Limo Blaze are also selling themselves here by having these two giants on their album so well done to you to the truth and limo blaze for having mag and solomon plates two of our best out here in gospel music let's look at some industry drama right now abo chungu hinted at a smaz anthem he said his smaz by the way means stingy men association of zambia the ladies some of the ladies, at least, aren't having that acronym. <laughs> they hate it. So Abo says he has a song just about that because there was a time when he heard a story from a friend about stinginess and whatnot. So it inspired him to write. He's had this song in the chamber for a while. He's planning to drop it now that this smaz thing is all over the internet. Good luck. The boy sticker responded to people asking about who he is. Do you have to really? Just run with the new Psycho fam. You've got 32 music videos on the way. Or are they out already? This boy's been pushing. He had a track with Dope G recently that's really nice. Check it out. He's been doing his thing, releasing music video after music video after music video every week. Omuse Perachide didn't make it for the Diary 9. Oh, snap. Was he late? Or does that pre-Diary song count as an honest verse what was he about to say kb tashu bangawari mutta contact oh did you and maybe he said no i don't know man i don't know yeah i don't know man what was i i need to speak to kb how how did he choose all those people padi idia diary nine because padi why celeb i believe young verbo is on there padina lanji but anyway, man, maybe you make it on Diary 10, should there be another one. Prophet Malachi stated that he is with both Alpha Entertainment and BT Africa. Because quite a confusion, but that's the error of mission. Rimbo, but me sign another BT Africa. 
Dad, you never offer entertainment to you. I even spoke about it the other week saying, Bimbiare chitafena bo music, but then Uku, he wanted to sign a management deal. That's probably what's happening right now. He needs a management deal, Saidu, who then he needs a place to record. Because I believe BT Africa, at, as at now, isn't fully equipped fully recording and recording studio. They are a management team. That label thing is really what they're into. But when it comes to actual recording studios and producers, Nabashala, I think Tabalaba fully equipped Sana. So it makes sense that he says he's with both Alpha and BT. Edna accidentally called Chandambao Mumbayach or oh, Snap. Where was this? Were you doing an interview? It happens to the best of us, girl. You get over it. But to his face did you do it to his face i need to see that <laughs> must have been funny what were you thinking girl mumbachi chandambawe mumbachi oh snap new music choose an international dropped way cafe featuring tiana i need to check that out lanji dropped turn up featuring s roxy Chef is frequent collaborator. Prophet Malaka is in a Teiria type is out now. That's the song I was talking about. Now about Jesus Legacy. Drama Kudashani. Ziase released Stay as the lead single from her EP. This is like the only lady on So Good Entertainment right now. I need to check that out. Toela put out a new banger titled No Drama. Banger is the word to describe it because that track was murdered by this woman man check it out great follow-up to delay highly anticipated bandana video from t low is out now one of the best videos i've seen this week check it out i reacted to it go to sangatembo youtube page malai monapadiani chita reaction magnifier returned with god hair He's been marketing this song for weeks now. It's finally out. I need to check that out. I've been really behind with this music thing, eh? Now about Fumiasana music by Guy Guy. Sticker dropped his 32nd music video in 32 weeks. And the dude is still responding to people asking who he is. Don't. You've been putting in the work. Let the work speak for you. <laughs> and the 32nd video in 32 weeks is titled Ninani. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's playing off of. Like in Gamlei Pshati, Nindani sticker. Let me also give you a music video titled Ninan. <laughs> Mampi and Tommy D linked up for Nichekeleko. That's gotta be a new single. And Tommy's been busy of late. He's also on Vena by uh, Camster featuring Elisha Long. Should check that out too. New music. We're waiting on that Tommy D project though. When is it coming out, XYZ? People out here, Tommy D. People out here saying Tommy D and I see that Tommy D's got the same flows from back in the day. We need you to prove us wrong and let's see if he's really evolved because XYZ is kind of on the chopping block right now taking on all these old gurus like Cam and Tommy D himself. Zar dropped his first single under headphone music, Been Through the Storm. Name dropped a couple of people and I reacted to that, need more details on that check youtube.com slash sangatembo tehila dropped call back with nazaki mosin malik released yo body featuring chef 187 and Tai 4 must be a banger camster dropped let you down featuring josie shortly after that also dropped vena featuring tommy d and elisha long both singles have videos check those songs out man xy is really really out to prove a point with these people and finally mac gray has a new single out with killer titled 88 and that's it with this week in music i'm sangatembo don't forget to log on to zambezijuice.com